Right, hello everybody, welcome to game number four of 1% effort, Lizardmen. Up against Dark Elves after taking tackle, so that's nice, isn't it? He's got one, two, he's only got two dodges, but still. Um, <laughs> went with tackle because Flicky Flack is the most boring, <laughs> the most boring wrestler in the JFW or in wrestling history. <laughs> so I thought, that's pretty boring, I hate going block tackle, I hate it, I really hate it, because it's so boring, I'd have much rather gone mighty blow and then hope to get tackle sooner, but obviously this way he's got tackle when he needs it and he might still randomly get mighty blow, and the others can just go block guard, so there you go, no mighty blows, no, I, bet he, I bet he's sick of playing lizards then random boy, <laughs> Dear me. Uh, there's basically two two th things in Prater Augustus. One won't come to BB3 because it'll be an asshole to implement. The other thing is this, which is Fight Soul Fight was right, luckily for him. Though maybe he had played Necromunda and he knew it was a thing in Necromunda. Um, but you pay for SVPs and it costs more to choose them and you get random stats. Um, so there you go. <laughs> exactly, Shawnee. You, you you were a fan of the block tackle, weren't you? I remember the uh, the block tackle on chaos of all things, which is crazy. I could never I could never be that boring. But um, it's still pretty boring. I think it's pretty good. It, it depends what the table is for the random skill. Um, but what I've heard for the random skill is that it'll be pretty good. So. So there you go. Yeah, no, I wouldn't take break tackle. No, no one on this team has ever taken break tackle. Um, at the expense of getting banned from Rebrel again. <laughs> I would not recommend anyone who knows how to play Blood Bowl <laughs> to take break tackle on a Saurus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you wouldn't have taken tackle on him first? Oh well, shit. Well, I've got I've got Crocs as the primary blitzer, haven't I? If that's all right. And they do, yeah, Tony. They do. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Do you random boy? How, what are you on? Like two and all. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. I mean, y yes. If you already had three, four, five skills and I got to legend, then I would. But will I get to legend? Oh, wow, that's pretty good. 21, 1, 2. It's not bad. The good thing is that like four lizard men teams might qualify, right? With the new crazy rules. And I don't care about qualifying, I'm just playing some games, so... I'm just playing games. There you go. 1% effort with these guys. 1% <laughs> effort with these. 16 wins behind first for him. <laughs> um, so yeah, if, if somehow a, a Saurus got to Legend then he could have break tackle. But would he ever get to legend? No. Could he take stand firm? Yes. <laughs> Never break tackle. Ever. <laughs> Not all that. No, what one break tackle would be alright at high TV if he had dodge. Yeah, and he use it. Hey look, I'm playing teams other than dwarves cocky, so that's it. This is already like, you know, a magical fun time place where we don't use dwarves. Um, until until Blood Bowl 3 comes out when it's just dwarf, 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 all fucking day long forever. Dwarf, 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 dwarf.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI. If he wants to GFI the Blitz, I guess he can. Dof, 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 dof. <laughs> Playing dwarves would be negative effort in uh, Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> <laughs> it was the best panning animation probably whites whites is pretty good isn't it <laughs> unlucky nb mark 2 <laughs> dov 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 <laughs> yes pc yeah <laughs> it's like blitz pit forever <laughs> was it blitz pit no uh what was the one that was all dwarf mirrors was that blitz pit We'll just we'll just force we'll just force Bezel to commentate on dwarf mirrors forever. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, the no cell board drops good. I like the dwarves for the sound actually when they go and do their pylon. I really like that. I really like that. Yeah, dwarves are always popular in Blitzpit. There, and there was one where, like, uh, oh, yeah, that was it, you, the squirrel dude and bezel. We just, <laughs> every match they covered was like a, a fucking dwarf mirror. <laughs> dof, 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 dof. <laughs> um, yeah, Cocky, uh, what's he called? Artemis, Artemis Black did a, uh, did a series where he got a legend, a legend piling on Beast of Nurgle, and he piled on every single time. It's pretty shit animation, I think. <laughs> Sadly. Hello, Scotty. So he hasn't hit us. He hasn't hit a skink. That's nice. Good news. Oh, look at this. The disrespect. The disrespect from this fucking guy. <laughs> He's got two runners. He's got two runner Dark Elves. He's completely exposed the ball. <laughs> Go for it, like, but it's funny that he did it. Sense if yeah. Look at that tackle doing something. Could not have targeted him without the tackle and done absolutely nothing. Probably worth making this a three D, isn't it? Why not? That keeps it kind of screeny, screeny things around, doesn't it? Glad I made it 3D. That fucking showed him. <laughs> Brutal. I think my equity to win this match is pretty high, to be honest, given the fact that he's got two runners and he completely didn't protect the ball. So I think it's probably, it was fine to uh, not go for the sack. Whereas if, like, you know, if, say, Ducky had uh, <laughs> ran out of time or something and left that on, I would have gone for it, right? But I think with this chap, probably going to give us more chances.
better chances than completely exposing the ball to a blitz. Sounds silly, but <laughs> I think it's possible. <laughs> yeah, maybe he was trying to bait it. I mean, that's something that some people do, isn't it? Bait hits on the ball to try to get people to abandon their defence. So maybe he was trying to bait it. Possible. But either way, I would have gone for it if he was good. <laughs> I mean, if I thought he was good. I can't think of a nice way to say it. <laughs> if I thought I had to, if I thought it was the best chance I was going to get, I would have gone for it. But I feel like there, there will be other chances. Such as him even considering a one dice blitz with a ball carrier. <laughs> <laughs> oh brilliant first armor break and removal in fact of course the dark elves absolutely classic that's why I probably should have taken mighty blow eh? he could be a master bait here yeah. Fuck me. He's clearly a graduate of the Space Cadet School of Ball Protection, uh, Ball Protection Academy, rather. Oh, tail doing something. Oh, le plim plom plu. So we've got an easy two dice on the ball with tackle zones to stop the thing. Um, that looks nice, doesn't it? Let's start with a dub skull. Oh boy. Fucking blood ball, eh? Fucking blood ball, man. Might as well do this block first, might get the both down. Happy days. Oh, I didn't, it's only a 1D. I didn't get the push. We still got minus 3 on the ball. Oh, he's got nerves of steel. Guy's a genius. Good job I'm only giving 1% effort, isn't it? Why did I hit him from there instead of there? What's even happened? I don't. Why did I hit him from there? I thought I'd powered her, so I could hit from here instead of there. <laughs> oh god! And he had nerves of steel, but now at least he doesn't have it on the nerves of steel guy anymore. So the next time he completely exposes the ball for no reason, it'll be slightly better. <sighs> That was pretty dumb, wasn't it? That was pretty dumb. Tackle, we've got tackle on the got tackle on this. Come on, roll a one. Roll a what not. Instant removal? Outrageous. Lizards are really not a good team for tryharding. I think, because it's just so frustrating when Saurus go down. 
because it really fucks you, doesn't it? It really fucks you being down Saurus. And like anybody can just roll some dice and Kazasaurus, can't they? Like this. And then all of a sudden, the team looks pretty shit once you down players against elves. Oh, good cocky. Yeah, yeah, it's through uh, no real choice, sadly, due to feeling so terrible all the time. Um, this is pretty much the only way I can guarantee getting the blood ball in. Ugh. Yeah, lizards are absolute champs in Blood Bowl 2016. Um, it remains to be seen how much they'll be nerfed in uh, Blood Bowl 2020, doesn't it? Like, you've got to think they're going to be nerfed because it would be crazy not to nerf them. <laughs> so you would imagine they'd be nerfed, but. Especially as they're not dwarves. <laughs> it's it's fucking something special, isn't it? <laughs> hey. Good. Hello, and we're GG. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense up in the Costasaurus. Um, that's brilliant because now it means we've got block on the Blitz. That's really nice, isn't it? Cheeky block on the Blitz. He didn't even uh, stand that guy up so I can get the croc straight in. Beautiful. Tag him. Do the strength five in there. That's great as well as so now he's got minus three on his pass, he's got minus two to the catch, he's got minus two to the catch, he's only got minus one. Right. Discovering that dump off isn't so good now. <laughs> live, live progression of a blood ball coach. <laughs> yes, uh, yes, eighty five percent, absolutely too much to do. At least he'll, he'll just punch instead of doing going somewhere and doing something with that character. And then he can uh, tag both of those as well, right, isn't it? <laughs> Hello, Ardvac. Doing Bloods, but I haven't, no, I haven't done them and it's too late now, because it? it's about to start soon. No, man. Good luck, aren't they? Yeah, it was, I've got to do more eye racing. It's just hard, that's the thing. It's so hard with my, uh, with this withdrawal bollocks at the moment. Um, my head's swimming all the time, so it's hard for me to do eye racing at all. So best to just get the blood ball out of the way and then I can be done with it. <laughs> yeah, 
USA. I, I enjoyed it. I was just shit with it. That was the bad thing. I really don't like it when, when you give away blocks without block and they just power you anyway. But <laughs> he was doing something useful, wasn't he? Making the catch harder and stuff. And even a scatter catch that he was made. Well, he wasn't making the scatter catch harder, but he was making the dump off catch harder. Did get to hit a lot of skins this turn. So getting too stunned. Probably isn't even bad, is it? It's not good. <laughs> it's probably not bad. <laughs> yeah. Hey! Beautiful. No, <laughs> oh, that was that was enjoyable, wasn't it? Right, so we want to clear these tackle zones without using the crocs, preferably, which means sadly not being able to hit her with. Ah, oh, no, I can because then I could then I could scatter it and then do it the other way. So let's 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 hit her with tackle. Is this a blocker? Yep. Mm, ball's pretty safe. Ball's pretty safe. Do we go for the pickup? It's just an option for it on the in the things in the like sound settings probably I think I have to go for it like it's potentially bad if it's if it scatters to one of these three then it could multi scatter and be really bad could dedicate a reroll to it I guess don't even need to <laughs> Get up there! Oh, shit, ballon. I'm just going to stay here for support. I should probably should have pushed him there, don't I? <laughs> of course, good reason from going for him even worse. <laughs> Lol at him there, that's fair enough. He was cracking a funny, wasn't he? Of an inn somewhere. Alright, right, I'm gonna do the right thing now. Are the are these yours, NB, or like are they, are they exclusive here? Cause your last one, you just uh You just, uh, you shared here, didn't you? And then they were shared everywhere else. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do a thing here that I should have done the first one. <laughs> ah, he did it. Ah, Chibiti's dropped them. Oh, I've, do, I've done it too late. I was going to try and be clever. I was going to try and be clever then, this time. 
It was fumble first. Uh, right, we'll disregard that I deleted it all because I was just going to make a YouTube video first and be the first one. But now it's not because they're, uh, they were in fumble. Never mind. Well, thank you very much, NB, for sharing that. And, uh, yep, I, I heard that Leap was tackle zones. That's ridiculous, isn't it? Isn't that ridiculous? Isn't that completely and utterly ridiculous, tackle zones? Yeah, it looks like it's going to be rare, though, that you get that. Um, I don't even need to cancel his assist because I'm strength five. <laughs> get fucked. <laughs> Oh, that's a st oh, it doesn't matter. I was going to say that's a stinker, but it's not. I can just run through. Whee! The classic. The classic. <laughs> Saurus Cage by Stinks. Strategy. Until I'm victorious, and I will defend. I will defend. Three baby beavers, JMMG. No, JMMG, ha ha ha, oui oui. Ah, it's nice of him, isn't it? <laughs> Low key, I don't know what that means, but. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> I guess because I'm not like fucking jelly. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I can't stand shit like that. This is nice, isn't it? Then he hasn't got an easy hit on the Crocs. Yes, humorous chimp. <laughs> yeah. So it's uh, it's an absolute massive nerf to leap. Therefore, a massive well, nerf to wood elves. Dorf, 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 dorf. <laughs> Ridiculous, isn't it? They've just deleted leap, essentially. Oops. Pogo stick. They can't have pogo stick and leap. Also, oh, yeah, sprint and sure your skills. Confirmed. Whichever's the highest. <laughs> it's tackle zones that you're leaping from or to whichever's the highest. Just to make sure they fuck up leap. <laughs> oh, God. But I guess they start off with one higher. So it's not that bad, actually. So now, like, if you're leaping into a cage... It'll be five, the same as if you dodged. So yeah, no, that's disregard that. What? It's not that good. I don't think woodies will be that bad. They're still woodies, but um, they're gonna be worse <laughs> than they are now. No, not a full cage. Not a full cage. Be minus three, wouldn't it? Oh, does leaps re reduce it by one, does it, as well? Alright, so that's not that bad then. Hmm. Ah, right. Ah, oh, well, that, yeah, that's okay then, I guess. That's something, isn't it? 
This asshole's a bit annoying, isn't he? One, two, three, four, five, six. Double GFI, tackle him, chain him out. Two, three, four, five, six, or something. You can go there afterwards. Right, got a pow here though. Minor detail, got a pow with the Crocs. Good. Here we! Gone, I can't block, can I? Go stop and get the assist round the side. Still got dodge. Do a GFI at the moment, she can punch him, but then she's got a frenzy, so it's not that good. So we just stay there, I guess. Maybe he should have been one back, I suppose. Hmm. <laughs> Geordie Shaw, probably. No, you shouldn't be leaping anyway. So, yeah, okay, having the plus one to it, and you already start a plus one. See, so leaping on a one plus and then minus modifiers is not even that bad, is it? Actually, it's often going to be better. So actually, yeah. It's not, not even that bad, is it, actually? It's not even that bad now, Lee. Yeah, it's actually not even that bad. Outrageous. Hello, Wolf of Bark. Yeah, it's not like it's been ruined. First, like, obviously, the initial reaction is... Oh, fuck off, you cunt! No, the initial reaction is like it's massively nerfed. But, um... Actually... It's, uh... It's not that bad, is it? Because sometimes it's better. Oh no, adversity is good. I was really happy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's actually a lot of the time it's gonna be a two plus, isn't it? Or a three plus. So it's actually it's not even it's not even that much of a nerf for, for them, realistically. In very interesting. Here's the question here, Dev. Without betraying your sources or anything. Um that was annoying, wasn't it? They did all that there. Um it will often be a 2 plus. It will often be a 2 plus, won't it, as well? My, in one tackle zone, it's going to be a 2 plus. So that's going to be like. It's going to be 2 plus as much as it would be a 4 plus, essentially. Ah, right. Okay, I'm being dumb. But into an open, it'll be a 2 plus. Oh, thanks! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it'll often be a 3+. plus. Okay, sorry. It's hard to think about it when I'm trying to play a game of Blood Bowl at the same time. To be fair. To be fair to me. 
it's uh, it's a little bit tricky. You can just dodge in to hit. Um, I don't want to hand off. Maybe I just want to score. Could have blitzed her, I guess. I could have pushed him for an extra block. Don't want to. I think I just score here. Scoring on his drive is good. <laughs> that's true, Dio, that's true. That's true. But not read them. I could talk about them. I could talk about them. I could talk about the things I've already read easily. It's not so easy to read them and then talk about them at the same time. Oh, he had, there was heat I didn't even realise. <laughs> oh, in that case, it would have been better to stall out because I had a guy off the field, thanks to the apple, so it would have been better to stall out, but never mind. Only 1% effort, so it's not a problem. Um, yeah, I just generally do, just why not? I, I just do it, just fucking... Weird habit, nothing. No reason. No reason behind scoring in the middle. It's just something I tend to do randomly. That little twat. <laughs> he was brilliant on it at the intercept. Yeah, I'm just a weirdo. Right. So it's a two plus. So if, if it's in the open, it's a two plus. And if it's in one or two tackle zones, it's a three plus. And if it's in three tackle zones, it's a four plus. Right? Into an open if you start. So if you're in the open and... But why would you be in the open? So it'll always be a minus one. Yeah. You're never going to leap in the open, are you? That doesn't make any sense. I guess unless you leap over a prone player. If you leap over... If you're surrounded by eight dead bodies... <laughs> Um, <laughs> you're probably gonna be better off dodging in with dodge, aren't you? Really, on a f on like, oh god, yeah, pro is very interesting. Yeah, you can leap for fun on a two plus. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You can do vanity leaps on a two plus. Um, <laughs> yeah, leap is actually better for escape players on breakaways, but it's not then, is it? It's the same because it's still three plus because you can't make it less than minus one. So it's actually the same. It's never better. So it's just a it's just a small nerf because you don't get to do two plus leaps. If you could get to do two plus leaps, it would be good. <laughs> yes, Sean. <laughs> when someone tries to throw a rock, you're like, "No, I'm not. St I'm not stalling because I'd do a leap if I wanted to score." <laughs> oh dear. So yeah, it is. It is definitely nerfed, but not as bad as it seems. Because a leap into two tackle, a leap into in or from one tackle zone would be a three, a leap into one or two tackle zones would be a three, and a leap into or uh, out, out of three tackle zones would be a four, right? Yeah, it's going to be rare though, and plus if you've got a reroll and stuff. <laughs> The perfect turn. Ah, it, pro it probably is by his standards. <laughs> and even the ball completely unprotected. <laughs> no offence. <laughs> oh, didn't get him. Right, let's not get fucked by heat. They did. Oh god, all the skinks are gone. Three skinks affected by heat. Wonderful. Wait, no, that was random then. Why did they only show one skink running off the pitch? That doesn't make any sense, does it? So we've both lost a player from a heat, so not that bad. 
not totally fucked by heat and still plays up 1-0 up looking all right a-okay um exactly woof back so a leap into or out of one tackle zone for a ward answer is still a three plus a leap into or out of zero tackle zones which seems like it would never ever 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 happen is a two plus <laughs> um a leap into or out of two tackle zones is still a three plus and a leap into or out of three tackle zones is a four plus that's what i think's right from hearing what other people are reading what other people have said in chat rather than this Yeah. Could block him. Blitz him, whatever. Whatever you whatever you want to call it. Oh, I've got two Croxes now, haven't I? It's alright. It's alright having two Croxies. Cocky can get a tuddy. Oh no, Tony can. I don't know, I don't know if it's cocky or Tony. So eight? Or six, which is better. I guess he'd be closer to double level if he got an MVP. I, told you, so I guess he he does it by default. But would rather get it to a uh, two the five SPP guy. Where's he in the middle? Yep, perfect. Oscuro, not totally useless, no, because you start at one higher, don't you? Um, with the way they've changed the agility table. Mm. Fuck me. <laughs> oh god, this is a standard gym turn so far. I just blitzed him, it wouldn't have been terrible, would it? <laughs> Devastating. I mean, two stuns is alright, isn't it? It's not the, uh, it's not the end of the world. Cheer a one to five. <laughs> right, so he can't reach. He could base there, so I guess can't move back anymore. One, two, three, four, five. He's done five without Sheer. Ant and Deck aren't good at anything of it. <laughs> ah, okay. Thanks, Squire Old Dude. Interesting. Dorf, 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 dorf. So now you can just cage up like an idiot and as long as it's minus three to leap in, it's, you're doing a good job, aren't you?
<laughs> yeah, you've got to do the fumble ruski apparently. That's uh, that's super useful. We all love the fumble ruski, like that's. But loads of times in a game of blood ball, I've thought I definitely just want to run around and drop the ball for no reason. That's like that's off. That I think that's the go-to of uh, the hallmark of a good player is when they just decide to run around and drop the ball for no reason, really, when you think about it. If you can't count the amount of times you've done that in double digits, what are you even playing at? Fuck me! <laughs> dangerous to do the handoff here. But also pretty dangerous to keep it. I don't know. I think just keep it. He's most dangerous now, isn't he? Presumably, you know, might be able to remove players throughout the drive. Four, five, six, seven. He's got eight. Eight versus ten, so two men up. Hopefully, can remove more players throughout the drive and uh, make it easier. Yeah, on the ball is is really good. Uh, I did reply C subs, um, but I saw it too late. Um, he actually said what you what you thought was the worst. Oh no, it was someone said what was the worst. What's my favourite? Um, probably, probably Blood Bowl 2016 that I've never played. <laughs> oh dear. You can witch go, yeah, brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> Fucking head. Oh, this is a nice easy chain now. It was already, you know, it didn't take a lot. But now it's a pretty nice chain. Fumble streams better than Blood Bowl 2 streams? No, it doesn't. <laughs> no, it doesn't, Dio. Fumble streams are shit. <laughs> because they look shit. I've streamed some fumble before and it looks like ass, which is a big part of streaming is looking at it, isn't it? And when it looks like fucking ass, that's not good. Oh, you motherfucker! <laughs> God damn it! <sighs> the good old fumble ruski. God, here we go, Lona block. Beautiful. Hey, got the pow. Where do I go? I don't know. Here. Journeyman can do the block. Well done, Journeyman Skink, doing better than the tackle. <laughs> the tackle Saurus that's <laughs> fucking hammered him every turn. <laughs> Does nothing. Asshole Journeyman Skink gets him. Nice. 
you know. I'm, uh, what what happened with Fumble was I generally just played it in scheduled leagues and like you know majors and stuff, and it was just a pain in the ass scheduling. And it pissed me off. And I played a little bit of box. I was going to do a box run with goblins, and I played like the first game, and that was enough. <laughs> Dio, Dio, that was enough for me with Fumble. But um. I imagine there'll be a CCL equivalent. It's kind of got to be, hasn't there? Like, there's got to be matchmaking. Whether there'll be a CCL equivalent, there'll definitely be match. There's got to be matchmaking. I think there's just got to be multiplayer matchmaking, hasn't there? Um, you know, maybe I think they should have bring back like the ranked how they had. You know, where you could pick your opponent. I think that should be. Blood Bowl ranked style should be a format. This is a pretty good anti leap cage now, isn't it? Because they'd have a minus, a minus four. They could only leap in on a six. That's a pretty good anti leap cage. Fit in the sides. In for a one day. There's the one we want to score on. Here he is. Nope. Yeah, yeah, you've got to have. You've got to have like the public matchmaking, but I do like the idea of having one where you can select your opponent still. For Blood Bowl, just because it, well, maybe you don't need it. Like, it, you know, we don't know what's going to happen with the redrafting and everything, but it seems like the redrafting is going to be, like, they want to keep it very low TV. Because basically, I think it's no secret that NAF people are involved. Like, I think, I think G Dubs and. JTY said NAF people were involved. Um, so all of those seem to again be selfish and <laughs> like low TV Blood Bowl. So made it low TV based. Which is fair enough. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it. I just think it's good for people to have, right? Because then people who don't want to play Claw Pom don't fucking aren't in forced to playing small man and wanting to quit. I don't think people should force people to play down TV to Crucifer. You know? I think that shouldn't be the only way you can play Blood Bowl. Um, <laughs> as a like kind of, you know, somebody who's just bought the game <laughs> on the internet. Well done. You know, you come in, you don't really know how to play. You've just got to play versus Christopher, downloads a TV every time. Fucking get in. You're going to have a good fucking time, aren't you? Yeah, the brutal cherry pickers. I mean, that was a comedy team, eh, Dev? Oh, fuck off. Oops. Except you can't choose your opponent no, in open, little Baz. So, you know, that's not open. <laughs> open, you just have your first game, a thousand TV down versus Lupa. <laughs> With Claw Palm. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, that's horrendous. That's, wor that's way worse. That's way worse. That's Welcome to Lou League. That's what that is. No, it should be, it should be. Yeah, it was, <laughs> oh yeah, 16. It was amazing. I was like, because my team was brutal cherry pickers and they were dwarves. 
getting ranked. And I was offering people, like, you know, stunties games, and they were accepting because they thought it was funny. <laughs> they thought it was funny that my team was uh, was called Brutal Cherry Pickers, and they were like, I'll do my bit to help you out and stuff. It was amazing. <laughs> It was amazing. They were just pissing themselves laughing. <laughs> I, I, you know, I guess I was honest, unlike unlike some of the brutal cherry pickers. But yeah, I, I certainly wouldn't have played against me with them. <laughs> uh, I can't, I was talking to Pally, and I, I should have known that fucking Flicky Flack couldn't knock anybody over ever. Well, I was hoping to knock him off the skinks. No mind. Oh god, that was a nightmare. Right. Howdy, howdy. I guess he just stands up. He can stand up as much as I'd love to foul the witch elf. Never lucky here, by the way. Yeah, welcome to Lily. Oh, man. Like, it was funny. It was really funny, the welcome to Lily. But uh, it wasn't good for the health of his league, was it? <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure. Well, I mean, they do, don't they? Like people do get a cherry pick matches in ranked, but at least, at least it's the beginner's own fault, isn't it? You know. If somebody who's bad at blood ball. <laughs> and somebody who's bad at blood ball chooses to play a thousand TV down to Sage's Wood Elves. That's their fault, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. That's a very good point. <laughs> I remember saying that about Sage one time. Somebody said about like, have you ever played Sage? And I was like, I played him in a in a NAF tournament on Fumble because he'd never play me in ranked. <laughs> and it's true, like he would never, he would never have played me in ranked. So yeah, you do kind of have to be a picker because the other pickers won't play you. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Very good point. Oh god. Lovely gym fart. No surf for me. <laughs> yeah, it's incredible. It's incredible that the offers you get are like 200 down versus somebody good. Or, you know, like a, a pretty. You, you, get, you do get offered games by good players, but they've generally got an obvious overwhelming advantage. <laughs> oh, well. I shouldn't have re rolled it, shit! Oh, I should have eaten that one, shouldn't I? Cost myself a chance to... Well, no, I guess I get an extra chance to pick up the ball by going here anyway. 
So it, it wasn't that bad. Because <sighs> it was costing me a chance to pick it up anyway if I didn't re-roll it. Wasn't it? So probably should have just done the pick up before making the block because it was irrelevant. Haven't had so much luck picking up the ball this half, have I? <laughs> What's this? Four, five, five failed pickups with that Saurus? Six failed pickups with that Saurus? Yeah, see, Sabs, there wasn't an Andrew game, but it's probably because I was too low TV this time. <laughs> oh, it was fair. That's fair enough then. Yeah, very rarely you get offered a fair game against a good coach. So I would always offer the good coaches fair games, and they would invariably say no. How about this one where I've got a 400 TV advantage? And I was like, no thanks. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> oh, Knopfler. Is he a Jordi? I didn't know. He's not run very well with his witch elf, is he? Maybe. <laughs> I didn't care who they were. I just, I just wanted fair games. <laughs> As outrageous as that sounds. Hasn't got a re-roll. Makes everything anyway. <laughs> oh, maybe I shouldn't use me re-roll. Wow, really, Ada? That's outrageous, isn't it? Right, I could make this three dice. Is that wise? Because I could get the uh, the two D after. I guess it's better. Good. Let's let's make it three dice. No, I can't because no, I can't actually. Because I need him for the recovery. <laughs> God, and I thought at least I'd get a fucking push, but obviously not. Base, base, base. This won't fail. I'm on the right. Boo, boo, boo. Hey. That was that exchange between that witch elf and that skink is the worst is the worst trade of blocks. It's the worst block trade in the history of block trades, maybe ever. <laughs> she, she won an 80 wand, then she pushed him, then she pushed him and used a reroll, then she pushed him again, then she got hit back on a one day and cast. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. God, he was the guy who was going to score as well. He gets stunned just to make sure he fucking can. Oh no, he wasn't. This is the one who was going to score. Oh man. God, things are annoying, aren't they? Shit, things are annoying. <laughs> I was really unlucky to roll so many, like about five pickup fails, I think. There's even a chance of losing, well, drawing because of it. Okay, not anymore. Whew. All right, so he's there for the catch.
He's going to do the pass. He can assist. We have a three D there. <laughs> right, I can I can try and free him up. No. Um. So G five for three D is fine, isn't it? Fuck it. <laughs> Necro got nerfed down to the orcs, the Earth's core. Yeah, I said that, didn't we? We said that. Um, we said that was going to happen. <laughs> Raids cannot pass. <laughs> well, they've got no hands. Yeah, skeleton man. Yeah. Yeah, incredible. Of the field GFI. Yeah. Yeah, they really are. Yeah, crazy, yeah. It's pretty lazy. I mean, apart from the no hands wolf bark, yeah. Like if they could get to, um, if they could get to reliably to a first skill and get guard, they'd be then they're finished, aren't they? They're good that they're finished after guard. That's really nice. It's really nice that they just need guard and they're done. Um, getting there is not so easy for them though, is it? Fifty-fifty on GFI's boneheads. Wow, well, they're not that good because they were all two pluses. Catches were terrible. Pickups. Wait, what? I thought I tried more. That doesn't make any sense. I re-rolled loads of the pickups. Eh? That's wrong. I mean, it should be eighty-three percent, so it's not. It's not good, really, is it? It would be. It would be better or worse. Like you would expect ten-two, right? So eleven-three would be worse than average, and twelve-two is slightly above average. So it's like. Although it looks lucky, and you know, you can say it was, but um, hardly lucky. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, it's because I catch. It's cause I catch it was because I was handed off to him. That was it. It's because I handed off to him. Right. I did have one of the ones was a handoff. And then he failed three. So he failed the handoff, and then he failed three pickups. Right. I couldn't understand that for a second then. 41, 36, 31. 30, 26, 29. His dodges were a bit unlucky. His GFIs. Again, see, marginally unlucky, right? It's only going to be 12, 2 or 11, 3. So, like, they're basically what you'd expect, isn't it? It's, uh... <laughs> oh, 85%. Yeah, I didn't think of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right, I just thought. It was ridiculously lucky to roll 85%, which it feels ridiculously lucky to roll 85%, but it, it shouldn't do, should it? <laughs> right, so we've got Tony, with, who got the MVP, is now the dedicated ball carrier with with sidestep, which is all right, isn't it? Um, so yeah, a bit of a crap game in terms of development, but got a win, so that's nice, isn't it? Alright, thanks for watching, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.